BlackRock may be about to get a run for their money with the amount of buyers that may be coming into a different spot ETF and more from a country that have not yet seen massive inflows into the cryptocurrency space this time round because of recent regulation. So this might all be changing very soon. We're going to be discussing that along with all of the news that you guys need to know to be fully up to date because we have a wild, wild show today. Naribi Chain is launching today. In the next couple of hours, about three hours from filming this video, they are launching. They are a layer one blockchain powering smart contracts, powering a smart contract hub with DeFi, real world assets and more. I've brought you these guys here on the channel before. I am an investor into this project. I'm very excited about this. They are launching on Gate.io, KuCoin, MEXE and Bybit today. No, this is not a sponsored post. I am an investor into this project. So I'm bringing you because this may be an absolutely massive opportunity a new L1 blockchain launching with 600,000 followers so far. So if you want to check this out, the link is down there in my description. And let's jump into it because things are wild, right? Bitcoin right now is at 71,725, reaching a high of 72,757. Things have been nice. We have broken our all-time high and we may even on the weekly chart have had a nice retest and be pushing higher. What's exciting about this is Bitcoin's price doubled 18 days or less, three of the four times that the new asset that the asset hit a new all-time high. Bitcoin is has just hit a new all-time high, guys. So it took 18 days in December 2020, 84 days in December 2017, 10 days in 2013, and March 2013, it was 18 days. Absolutely massive stuff to potentially come here. If Bitcoin does do that, if it doubles, we're going to be in the six figures very soon. And like I've been saying on this channel for years now, I do believe that Bitcoin goes above 100K. With that said, we also have Mr. 100 being back, buying three times the usual 100 Bitcoin just yesterday at 72,250. And what's awesome to see about this is he, from that buy, is actually in a loss. But all the other buys have been dollar cost averaging, right? All of them. So this is the key, guys. You do not have to time it perfectly. Even this guy who buys 100 Bitcoin almost every day doesn't time the market. He just dollar cost averages into the market, which is key. So you have two ways to dollar cost average into the market. You can do it on the spot market, which we can see from our dollar cost averaging portfolio here with our YouTube DCA, $18,000 portfolio, $12,400 in profit. I have built this portfolio for you guys directly here on this channel, along with these other portfolios, but $12,000 thousand dollars worth of profit with a six thousand dollar investment and we started this in may 2023 so it, we're getting up to a year now march april may we're about 10 months into this thing and so we're about 10 months into this we've put six thousand dollars that's an average an average of about six hundred dollars a month most people who are watching this video who are interested in crypto could have afforded to put $600 a month into their cryptocurrency portfolios and made $12,000 profit. I made this portfolio to show you not so much how easy it is, but the proof that DCA really works. You don't need to follow the hype. You don't need to go all in on a meme coin to make mad gains. Yes, people make insane gains on meme coins. We've actually made 188%, so $4,000 from just over a $1,000 investment. But this is much more high risk, all right? But I also dollar cost average into meme coins to show you that it's also possible to make serious gains with meme coins. But our other way is actually trading using leverage. Now, a lot of people don't like leverage because there is the risk of getting liquidated. And that is a very real risk. You need to understand that. But I made this portfolio also to show you guys that with small amounts of margin, $19, $200, $17, you can still make profit. So yesterday, XRP finally moved. This trade is in $1,000 of profit and I only used 250 ish dollars of margin. I've already taken out $277 of margin and now I've put my stop loss exactly at my break even, so I'm guaranteed to make $277 of profit. This is how you can use margin. And look, I used high margin, this is 50X, but I used small amounts of money and this is how I do it, all right? I'm not saying this is a perfect way to trade, but this is how you can do it with low risk, 
very, very high reward, okay? I've done more than a 5X on the money that I put in. Same with Dogecoin, except Dogecoin, I put $17 in and I've made $1,100, all right? So this is very much possible. All of the links are down there in my description. If you do wanna check them out, there's up to $50,000 worth of deposit bonuses for the exchanges I use. With that said, moving on, first three halving cycles were not priced in. Look at this, 2012, 2016, 2020, and now look at those candles. This is what we may potentially be seeing and all of these charts are very similar. Now, I like to compare history as to what's happening now, but of course there is so much more money that is involved moving Bitcoin from, you know, 20,000 to 70,000 than it is from moving Bitcoin from $5 to $115, okay? So we have to be reasonable and we have to be aware of that reali realistic thing. Probably not gonna move in the same way it has done before, but that doesn't mean it's not gonna get over 100K very soon. Reason why I think that's gonna happen is we are finally seeing retail eyeballs back. This is exactly what we discussed on the channel, and I'm sorry if I sound like I think I know what I'm talking about all the time, like I guessed it perfectly, but guess is the right term here. I expected this to happen and so far it is playing out how I thought it was. We are breaking all time highs for Bitcoin, right? We're breaking them right now, $72,000. And now excitement is coming back. We see that with the search terms crypto and Bitcoin. And I'm sure if you search for any of your altcoins, you'll see the same thing. Look at this, we're breaking out of this channel now. We've been in since the bear market. Retail is coming back. Excitement, FOMO is coming back. And that is what will push the market higher, okay? Hopefully, this also pushes our altcoins much, much higher. As you know, on this channel, for the last three, four, five months, I've been focusing on bringing you as many altcoin opportunities as possible. So as we all know, the AI narrative is absolutely exploding. And with that said, I want to introduce you guys to today's channel's sponsor, and that is Work. X. Now, these guys have just gone into a special partnership with Ocean Protocol, which we can see here from their tweet that has been retweeted by Ocean Protocol themselves, saying, thank you for sharing our progress on the compute to SSI concept. As early DAO members and contributors, we're committed to leverage compute to data for training of our AI models without compromising data privacy. So this token is Work, and this is the ecosystem token for WorkX. Welcome to the internet of jobs. And what they're doing is empowering Powering the workforce. So peer-to-peer -peer where you can work together without any commercial recruitment fees. There'll be decentralized IDs where you can become the boss of your reputation, diplomas, certificates, and references or peer reviews. There'll be security where you can hire employees or freelancers with on-chain references to verify relevant work experience and skills for the job of today or tomorrow. And also a generative AI assistant. So you can get a personalized AI suggestions for relevant skills, job descriptions and educational purposes to build better job and talent profiles instantly. They currently say they're trusted by over 150,000 members and they made $245,000 in total revenue in the past year. They are trying to empower both talent and employers with the commercial fees of work. If we look at the recent chart action for work, we can see that the price is down 10% on the day at 55 cents and a market cap of only $4.7 million, which could show some potential growth opportunity considering the AI narrative right now. Of course, there are projects above $100 million, and if WorkX was ever able to do something like that, it would show us a significant move to the upside. Now, of course, there's no guarantees there, but we have to keep our eye out for potential AI narrative projects. They've also received a grant from the European government to further develop this project. So if you do wanna learn more about WorkX, I'll leave a link down there in my description, and you guys can check them out. Thank you to WorkX for sponsoring this portion of the video, and let's jump back into it. So as you may have noticed from earlier today, video, there was a huge jump in XRP. And this seems to be maybe because of a mysterious Binance transfer. But essentially, this is just people potentially moving their money into Binance to buy XRP in order to get some upside because XRP hasn't moved at all. That seems to be the general consensus here, because there are still a lot of people who think this is going to go up. Now, I know there are a lot of XRP haters, so I won't talk about XRP too long. But this is the proof and the pudding that just being patient actually does pay off, right? I have a big position in XRP. I also opened this longer term XRP position only if, like about a week ago or something. I put $250 a margin, $1,000 a profit. This 
is what I was expecting. Just random pumps in XRP's price. I think that's going to continue to happen. So have a little look at the chart. Wait, see what happens with the price action. If it comes back down, there may be an opportunity for you to enter and then just wait patiently for it to have another pump, which I think will come. Now, like the title suggested, I do think that BlackRock might be having a little bit of a run for their money. Now, they're probably not going to overtake BlackRock, but there may be a fight or a battle going on to get the liquidity that sits on, for example, Coinbase's OTC desk, which all of these guys use. And this is Vanek slashing Bitcoin price spot ETF fees to zero amid all-time high flows. Now, what's interesting about this is, we'll read this first. Asset manager Vanek will reduce all sponsor fees to zero for the first 1.5 billion of funds. According to the 11th of March announcement, the sponsor fee is levied at 20% of net assets under management funds exceeding 1.5 billion. Because we believe in Bitcoin so much, starting tomorrow, you can invest in Vanek Bitcoin Trust with no fees until March 31st. But it's bit, guys, don't worry. It's because they believe in Bitcoin. Nonsense. It's because they see what's happening with uh, BlackRock. They see how much people are buying. BlackRock has $13 billion worth of assets under management right now. Vanek has about $300 million from the last time I checked. Uh, yeah. 290 million and they see the money and they're like hey we want some of this money so that's why they're doing it they're not doing it because they care about anything other than making money never never confuse confuse that from any of these guys blackrock vanek fidelity uh that knobhead jamie diamond yeah any of them they're not here to help they're here to take your money so remember that just buy bitcoin on the real spot market put it into a, la a ledger and then hold it yourself don't let these guys take fees for it like there's just no need you don't need to do that now there is another big buy coming in potentially us spot bitcoin etfs coming to india for crypto investment platforms now india right they have black banned Binance, Kraken, and a bunch of exchanges. Whenever I try and do business in India, it's very hard because I want to pay in crypto, but I can't. They won't accept it. And it is very difficult to do it. But now Indian investors may be able to buy Bitcoin spot ETFs, right? So right now, about 3% of India's population invests. There's around 1.4 billion people in India. That's around 42 million investors that may want to buy up some of these ETFs who currently don't have access to the US market. So this could be another big inflow into the market. With that said, on top of that, we have MicroStrategy using an 800 million note offering to buy more Bitcoin and now holds 205,000 Bitcoin. And this is genius, right? Michael Saylor is taking on debt to collateralize his Bitcoin owned by MicroStrategy to buy more Bitcoin. And then when Bitcoin goes up, so will the value of MicroStrategy which will then be used to buy back the fiat debt, just like he's done right now to get this, exactly what he's done, at a premium to the stock the debt was issued at in order to buy more Bitcoin. He's using fiat money to buy Bitcoin and paying back the debt issuers in Bitcoin, essentially because MicroStrategy stock, which is now based on Bitcoin. They are happy to take MicroStrategy stock because the returns are way better than the 0.65 they would receive on the debt. Basically, never has to pay back the debt because he just issues more MicroStrategy shares, but shareholders won't care because the value of MicroStrategy will continue to go up as Bitcoin does. He bought 12,000 more Bitcoin over the weekend, guys. This is the most incredible strategy. And what's hilarious is everyone called him an idiot in the bear market. Everyone was laughing. They were waiting for him to get liquidated. They thought he was dumb. Look who is laughing now with just a long-term mindset. And finally, Bitcoin is now bigger than silver. All right, guys, so huge things are coming. Hopefully, we get an altcoin season very soon so we can all go to the moon together. But I'm sure you are sitting on some amazing gains if you've been with me since the bear market. With that said, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.